So this is the Y-E-T or something. This is New Zealand Hopped, right? So this is the limited edition Brewmasters uh, pack here. 330 milliliter bottle. 6% alcohol by volume. This is a wheat beer. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So we got New Zealand Hops, right? We got uh, the Y-E-T, Galaxy, and Nelson Savoy. Pops, let's pour this epically. Why itty hops? Yeah. And we got wheat. Sorry. Uh, pale caramelized wheat. Blah, blah, blah. It's a fucking fucked up ingredients list. Not reading the novel. It smells quite sweet. <clears throat> wow. Holy shit. A little bit different for a wheat beer. It's uh, <clears throat> probably wouldn't pick the wheat out of it. I would almost assume it's a rye beer. It's kind of gritty, kind of an attack on the tongue, like from the malts as well as the carbonation. Really curious aromas coming off a bit planty, almost like Pilsner hop. But with mega orange, some citrus, they like to say lemon, and some of these New Zealand hops say, yeah, maybe a little bit of lemon, a little bit of lemon rind, just kind of thing. Mostly just orange. Aggressive carbonation for the, within the beer, yeah, mega orange, mega orange now. A little bit of grapefruit peel, a little bit of uh, lemon rind. Very nice malty. Very good for Big Rock. I'm not uh, impressed with a lot of what Big Rock does, but this is a Brewmasters limited edition thing. I didn't mind the uh, had two beers with, like the identical malt, or identical malt, but it was like uh, different hops in it. They had the Anarchist and the Cascadian, which looked identical color wise, but those are both not not too bad. This one I'd say was is, is quite a bit better. Can't get around. It smells lagerish. Maybe it says ale, but it does smell quite lagerish. It does have a bit of like a like a German style lager hop kind of flavor and aroma to it, right up front. So awesome of those nice uh, these New Zealand hops, this orange kind of thing coming out in the front as well, and the aroma, I'm tasting it big time in the back. Nice bitterness. Not overly bitter, I wouldn't guess a super high IBU or anything. Wow, 
not really drinkable. Yeah, probably would, really wouldn't pick out the wheat. I'm not tasting a ton of wheat here. But it's, it's pretty nice. It's, it's, a, it's a nice beer. Quite frothy. I'm getting the head and the, the carbonation is a little bit um, too fluffy for me or whatever you want to say. Mouth feels a little bit aggressive in the CO2. Other than that, uh, this is a big improvement on a lot of their brews. I get a nice hop numbingness, just straight bitter all over the front of the tongue. Not bad. A nice uh, IPA-ish type beverage here. Yeah, with that lager, you do kind of get that straight numbing hop like that would be the uh, lager hop association here. Caramely aroma. Anyway, not bad for Big Rock. It's going to be very, very aggressive CO2. I'll foam right up. Wow, quite a bit of sediment in there. It's maybe bottle conditioned. Maybe something why it's so aggressive in the CO2. Wouldn't expect Big Rock to bottle condition. That's a fucking first. Yeah, it's definitely yeast in there. <sighs> well, good one, Big Rock. Keep keep doing this and keep improving these beers. Throw some good hops and good malts in. Bottle conditioning from time to time. Holy shit. And yeah, um... 6%. This is a nice, I, I like a lot of beers around 6%. This is like a daily drinker. This is a, a session beer for me. 6% uh, pale ale is what I want a session anyway. And a uh, great summer beer. So if you're worried, I would say, you know, I wouldn't be scared to get a whole six pack of this, to tell you the truth. I could I could drink all six. A little bit colder than what I drink a lot of my beers, but wheat beer, IPA kind of thing. I'll drink a little bit colder. Pretty fucking sweet. I have seven and three quarters easy. It's drinkable, this and that. Maybe a little bit of improvement, but I'm, uh, I've had a, fuck. This is the best beer I've ever had from Big Rock, hands down. This is fucking better than anything I've had from them. So keep up, keep up the progress, guys. And I'm out. Yeah.